his control or whatever, and he would walk through and the doors would just open. The interesting thing, he would, that's how the movie would, not the movie, that's how the TV show would open up. He would just keep walking the door. But then, you know, it always showed how he would think twice, turn around and go back, and the door would slam in his face. But that's what happens to us. God's trying to get us to move forward. We panic. We, this is a little bit too much for me right now. Like, I can't control this. Let me just, let me just go back. This, you know, I, I know I said this is what I wanted, but it's just too much. It's just too much. And then you turn around, but no, you, you can't go back. But you also can't control God's blessings. You just got to yield to them and receive them. You got to embrace your place. Embrace your place. God is sending, you, sending us to a place because he has every... Uh, what's the movie? Um, I see this in a lot of movies, but... Uh, what is the... I'm trying to pull that out of John Renee like he know what the movie but But his spirit is, 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 is working with me. Um, close. Uh, but it's... Uh, 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 Return of the King. Ha, got it. Right? What's that like? The Hobbit or something? Lord of the Rings. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so when they get to the last movie, or the third movie, right? So, but like you don't watch that either? You need to get hip to it. Like, these are some great movies. Alright, so when they, get to the, when they get to the end of the movie, like, you have so many different uh, pods of people coming to the same point for victory. So everybody, but, but, but everybody is galvanizing at the same place. But from so many different places. So the person here only wins if he gets to that place. If he, if he stops here, he loses because he needs all the other people to help him. Same, same thing with the person over there, same thing with the person over there. But when they get together and the timing of getting to the right place, they all galvanize together at the right time and produces victory. It's the same thing. God sent us to a place, but he's moving on Tracy's heart. He's moving on Stella's heart. He's moving on your heart. He's moving, he, and he's bringing us all to the same place. But see, we all got to galvanize together because we all need each other. That's why scripture says, don't forsake the assembly of yourselves together. And then 1 Corinthians 12, 18 says, God set the members in the body as it pleases him. Scripture says, you are the tutors and governor to the appointed time of the Father. See, that time, I, I did a teaching years ago called a nick of time. And in that niche, in that window of time, everything is galvanizing itself together. Everything is in place. So you got to keep moving to that place. See, when you start to sit in your own comfort, all you have is you and your resources. Now, how's that been working for you? And it's, it's, it's like living a recycling life. <laughs> it's like recycling the same circumstances, the same challenges, the same changes. You know, you, know, you get past it this week, you know, and you're on a roll for two weeks. Then you recycle. You go back. You know, they just send you to the recycling bin. You go back and you're dealing with the same stuff. Then you come back and do good for two. You know, you may do two weeks and a half a day. And then you go back and then it's just, you got to get, get out of that recycling bin. God wants us to keep elevating and keep moving and keep moving into what he has for us. Because it, it gets old after a while. And you're not designed to keep taking those hits. You, you, okay, we're resilient. If you notice, we're resilient. Like, you think about it, you get a cut, you know, and it heals and stuff like that. So God made some resilient bodies. But do you know everybody has limits? Yeah, y'all didn't know that? I'm, let me help you out. You might want to know before you reach them. Because the person that reached their limits break down or tear up everything. So the thing is, you, you may be resilient, but God didn't design you to keep taking those hits outside of your place. You don't have the strength to deal with that stuff. So you can't stay outside of the will of God, outside of the place of God too long. It'll destroy you. And that's how you see people get destroyed before their time. Uh, even even um, when the children are born, they're, they're, in a, they're in a womb and they're submerged in water, right? 
because they're submerged in that water and it has everything in that place to sustain them for 40 weeks, is that right? Yeah, 40 weeks. I was gonna say nine months, but then somebody was gonna be like, it's not actually nine months, so I just said 40 weeks, right? <laughs> right, so, okay, but then they're birthed into this realm. Now, they, they study it out. That child's not supposed to be staying there longer than that. The stuff inside that, that, that bubble is not designed to sustain them beyond that, that period of time. That, that's, what, that's why they induce birth, right? Oh, no, no, the baby's coming out. Baby. Remember, we read the scripture in Isaiah 37, 3, I'm going to end with this. It says, the children of Israel have come to a point of birth, but they don't have strength to bring forth, to push it out. If you don't push it out, it's going to kill you, and you're going to kill the purpose. That's what you're designed for. So you're snapping on people because you don't want to take responsibility to be what, where you need to be with God and fulfill your purpose. So now it's there for So now you're irritated. So now you're, you're telling the other person they're responsible for your fulfillment. But you're not doing what you need to be doing with God. Something's wrong with that picture. If you just did, no, there, no, no. What is God telling you to do? Now, if you're doing all that, then get on somebody else. That's the key. Get in your place. With God, get in your place where he needs you to be. Stay locked in. Be consistent. Then maybe you have something to complain about. But you, how you going how you going to compromise and complain? How you going to be out of place and complain? Now, now that's not me getting on nobody. You know, we, everybody knows who's in place and everybody knows who's out of place, right? All right, that's Listen, standing for you, that's enough. <laughs> Terrence said, drop the mic. 